What to do, Major Boy Marcel P. Black, reporting live from my bedroom. I ain't got no fans in studio. I ain't got no videographer. I ain't got a whole bunch of graphics. So this is just me talking to y'all directly from my iPhone. Like, real talk. Um, but that's so black collar. Uh, boom. Anyways, forget all that. This is the first ever edition of Black Collar Fridays. Where I'm going to talk to y'all a little bit about a couple things about the upcoming projects. Maybe throw a little free game. Maybe throw a couple black thoughts in there or whatever. But, um... Last week, or earlier this week rather, um, I asked some people on my Facebook page, do they have any uh, questions for me, what have you. And so I received like about 20 questions, and um, I'm going to just try to answer a few real quick so I don't take up too much of your time. First question from my boy Tony Two Mikey asked what the central theme of Black Collar is. Black Collar is the central theme is pretty much empowerment. It's empowerment to everybody who go through everyday struggles, just trying to live an every, everyday life. Uh, nothing fancy, I mean... Like, I look at it like this. I feel like blue collar, you're working for the man. I feel like white collar, you are the man. I feel like black collar, that's when you're trying to take back your manhood or your womanhood and um, provide for your people. It's, you know, it's for my entrepreneurs, for my hustlers. It's for my people who who strive, you know what I'm saying, to do the best they possibly can for their community and then for their self and their families, what have you. You know what I'm saying? And while doing something dope in the meantime, it's like it ain't got to be always super serious or what have you if, if it ain't nothing but uh, coaching the kids' basketball team or, uh, uh, you know, helping out in the community guard, man, that's black collar. Uh, building your own business, uh, you know, a lemonade stand is black collar. You feel me? If you're tutoring someone after school or helping out with a GED class, that's black collar. You feel me? So, um, you know, that's what black collar is to me as a central theme. And uh, I feel like all of us who have the the gifts and abilities that the Most High has given us, that we should give back in some capacity. And why not monetize it? Why not do something for yourself in the meantime? Because we all got to survive, right? You know what I'm saying? It's real out here. So that's what black collar means to me. And I know people hear the word black and they hear the hook. You know, what's the definition of black collar? Black God, black empowerment, black scholars. Um, protecting the black woman and the black child. Build black businesses, circulate the black dollar. Right. And people think that, like, you know, I'm only talking to black people. Don't get it twisted. It's definitely about black empowerment. I am a, a, a student of uh, your Malcolm X's and your Huey P's and your uh, Marcus Garvey's, you know, black black nationalism. But at the same time, I'm also a student of uh, of uh, Fred Hampton. And Fred Hampton says, all power to all people, black power to black people, white power to white people, red power to the red man. You feel me? Uh you know what I'm saying, yellow power to the Asians, whatever, you know what I'm saying, so um, I'm here to, uh, you know, empower everybody, you know what I'm saying, that's going through the struggle, because that's one thing that's um, consistent, on, you know, it might vary on different levels, but that's what that's consistent amongst everybody, you feel me, so, uh, you know, black power is about empowering, it's like, it's, it's, it's all empowerment to all people, or what have you, um, so that's that, um, another question from my boy Daryl was, um, what is my end game with my career and the path that I'm taking? Um, if anybody knows me, I don't really take the traditional Baton Rouge club streets radio uh, route or what have you. I'm more of a fan of the, uh, you know, the kind of the underground, underground king, uh, do-it-yourself model, what have you. So I'm definitely a student of your rhyme sayers and your stones throw and your mass appeal. I love what they're doing with Run the Jaws, your strange musics, your mellow music groups, what have you. Uh, Viper rep records, things like that. These are labels that you'll never see on TV. You'll never see on the ra you never hear on the radio, rather. Um, you really won't see in the magazines. But they travel all across the world doing their music, and it's not club music. It's not no no type of you know uh, 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 stuff that's that's in the mainstream. It's music that reflects people and what they go through every single day. So that's my type of uh, that's my type of lane I'm in, and that's what I would like to do. Like I went to the Brother Ali and Bamboo concert. And uh, that's the type of uh, hip hop that I want to do. That's what I aim for. You know, if I can get me 150 people, true blue hip hop heads who want to come out, and, you know, what I'm saying support and spin and build with me or what have you, I take that over any day. For I do that for 10 years before I live like Young Thug for one year straight up, because I don't have to sell my soul, I don't have to part with anything. I get to do, you know, what I'm saying what I want to do, do what I love, and really build with real people, and hopefully. Um, do something positive, you know what I'm saying, and uplifting in the meantime, what have you, and ain't gonna be no Bobby Smurda dancing in front of Epic, I don't want that or what have you, you know what I'm saying, I ain't saying there's nothing wrong with dancing, but I ain't about to do all that shucking and jiving and stuff like that, man, I'm putting on for the people, I'm I'm, I'm fighting for the people, because I am the people, you feel me, um, to answer Shouty Banks' question, um, 
no no not a lot no live instrumentation you know what i'm saying i got production from uh shoot i would say name everybody cuz I don't want to forget nobody. You feel me? But I got dope, dope production or what have you. I'm going to come back and, and give y'all the track list real soon. So producers don't feel played. I just can't remember on top of my head or whatever. Uh, but I got soul samples. I got some boom bap on there. I got some trap on there. Man, I even got a girly record on there. I got a couple records. That's, you know, kind of like not not dance records in like terms of like bust that, but records you can dance to. Um, you know, some hardcore stuff on there, of course. But, um, you know, so... It's just it's, it's I push myself artistically in terms of production to uh come up with something that I feel like reflects other sides of me. Um as a po everybody knows for the angry black raps, right? But this is the everyday person raps. Like so if people know me for real for you know I like to joke, you know, I like to clown, I like to go out and get some drinks or whatever, I like to dance, have a good time. So I got a little bit on there too, but not like oh no. I'm not selling out. Before I sell out, I guess the hell out, you feel me? Um No Chris, I don't have Killer Mike on the album. I don't have any guest appearances. On the album, it was just me rapping for 11 tracks. Um, so, couldn't get Killer Kill on this one. Uh, he does owe me a verse, but that dude's so busy, I, I, who knows when I'll be able to get it. But I am working on stuff with some features that y'all will hear about soon. Um, then that's pretty much it. I don't want to give away too much because this is not going to be the last uh, Black Collar Friday uh, vlog that I give you. So... It's just, it's just uh, one of many, but uh, just real quick. I mean, I know where to find me, man. I'm on Facebook at Marcel P. Black. Instagram, Twitter, Marcel P. Black. Um, I ain't gonna give up my cell like that, but you know, you can reach me um, at MarcelPBlack.com, my Gmail, MaroonMusic at Gmail.com, or what have you. And most importantly, man, my next album on November 28th, which is Black Friday, a.k.a. Marcel P. Black Friday. You know what I'm saying? Black Collar, Marcel P. Black Friday. Um, it's going to be on all digital uh, online retailers, as well as my MarcelPBlack.BandCamp.com and my website, MarcelPBlack.com. Remember that. Black Collar drops on Black Friday. That's what it is. Um, I might be able to get a better high-tech video next time, but until then, I'm going to get the people straight to the people what they want, a la Mojave, freedom.